Well, let's assess what's happening in Massachusetts right now with our CNN contributor, the Democratic strategist Donna Brazil, and our CNN contributor, the Republican strategist Alex Castellanos. Uh, guys, thanks very much. Donna, if somebody would have said to you two weeks ago, even a week ago, that this ARG poll has Scott Brown, the Republican, at 52 percent, Martha Coakley, the Democrat, 45 percent on the eve of this election, you would have thought they were crazy. Well, Wolf, given the political environment, not only in, in the state of Massachusetts, but across the country, I'm not surprised that the race is really tightening, that Mr. Brown, at least in this poll, might have uh, a slight uh, chance of, of winning tomorrow. Look, I still believe it comes down, and, and Alex knows this, it's about turnout, turnout, turnout. If, if uh, Martha Coaxley can get her vote out tomorrow, she might win. But, uh, you know, the, the enthusiasm, correct me if I'm wrong, seems to be with Republicans right now in Massachusetts uh, and independents who, who don't don't like the Democrats for whatever reason. And it's not an isolated thing. Republicans just picked up a governorship in New Jersey and Virginia, now Massachusetts of all places. You know, this is like pigs flying and hell has frozen over a Republican doing so well in Massachusetts. But this is a national uh, thing that we're seeing in Massachusetts. Americans think Washington isn't listening. They think Washington is spending like crazy, debt out of control, not focusing on the economy like they should. So they're saying, hey, listen to me. If, if the Democrat loses and that seat goes to the Republican, is health care reform dead? Well, well, there are so many bills right now pending in the United States. Well, what about health care reform? Even with a supermajority, I hope health care is not dead. I know you hope it's not, but what do you think? Uh, no, it will not. It will not die. How will the Democrats because, pass it if they only have 59? Because we don't need 59. If the, if the House decide to vote for the Senate bill as is, they could pass it uh, next week. How, uh, how likely is that? Because that's possible. They, that, the Senate has already passed legislation if the house passes it without changing a comma or a word uh, then of course uh, the president will sign it into law and that's why the people of Massachusetts must understand that Scott Brown is not coming to Washington DC to fight for jobs to fight for health care to fight oh, for com God. climate change Alex he's coming to try to stop President Obama's chief domestic uh, policy uh, uh, so, uh, position so there is a fallback position uh, Alex for health care passing the Democrats in the house are just gonna have to accept the Senate version they they might do that but people in Massachusetts know what they're voting for they know what's at stake they know that health care is on the cusp in Washington so if they do vote to send a Republican down here and then Washington again thumbs its nose at them Washington again ignores them the American people are going to say these people in Washington are just you know they've forgotten who they work for I think it would be a disaster politically for the Democrats to do that <laughs> if, if a Republican wins Tuesday Wednesday you're going to see a lot of Democrats start to retire pick up golf games, become lobbyists, because the it will have a very different environment. And I don't think the Democrats will be quite <laughs> as eager American to sign on to health people are not ready to give the Republicans back the keys to destroy the House again. So We're, I think we have a fighting chance of winning tomorrow. We'll be, they'll be closing, uh, they're closing the polls in Massachusetts, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll have extensive coverage tomorrow night uh, here on CNN. I know we'll you guys will be watching as closely as anyone. Thanks very much.